It's the start of a new work week and it's going to be a hot one. Today it's forecast to be 31 degrees and it's going to be high 20s at least for the rest of the week with a forecast of potentially 35 by Sunday of this week. So it's going to be a little bit hot and sweaty in here um, but uh, we need to soldier on no matter what. And... Um, Today, we have got on Bricklink just um, six orders. And I think this is partly because we had orders in late Friday night and Saturday morning, which we um, packed and posted on Saturday. So um, the Monday numbers are looking a little lower than normal, but there's a couple of, of reasonable orders in here. And um, just two on Brick Owl, so Again, some of these would have been done on Saturday, but Brick Owl certainly seems to have dropped off in comparison to earlier in the month. Then on eBay, we've just got one item to ship. It's a non-Lego uh, related item. Um, it's actually a Logitech uh, keyboard, uh, MX keys for Mac uh, keyboard and uh, that sold over the weekend also. So we've already uh, picked our orders uh, for this morning and just need to get them uh, weighed and packed and shipped off. Um, so all nine orders are here, uh, just ready to go. And this is the keyboard that I need to get packed up as well. So I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to get these parts added to the store. So I'm a little ahead of normal schedule for a Monday because quite often Monday having more orders usually means I'm, I'm busy picking, packing right up to lunchtime. And it's only, what, just gone 10.30 this morning and I've already been doing some, some other things as well. And so we're going to have a few hours extra to um, spend on parting out and, and uploading, probably. Just received a bonus order for today. Uh, this is 33 lots for about £33. And it's actually the second bonus order of a similar size that I've had today. So those are both uh, very welcome. And I'm just uh, getting them packed quickly now so that I can shoot off to the post office before they close at two today. Um, one other thing that I uh, omitted to mention earlier was that over the weekend I managed to sell the Stranger Things um, upside down set that I'd referenced a couple of weeks ago and uh, managed to get that uh, sold locally with a local pickup for 285 which I thought was a decent price uh, given there's no fees and uh, no shipping cost involved with that at all. So very happy with that too. So uh, baking hot here, um, you know, it's quite uncomfortable at, at the moment, um, but we've got the fans going, I've got it stopped at the moment, so it's not making too much noise with the video, but uh, need to press on and try and keep cool. Just come across these in my local Sainsbury's. These are, um, 41921 Lego Dots and they're on sale at £1.80 instead of £4. Looking at the part out value though, they're parting out at about £5.75 which seems like a reasonable part out value but if you look at the breakdown of the parts, um, the parts are hardly selling through at all. Loads of people have got stock of them and um, there's only, you know, one or two small lots of them selling each month, so I'm not going to bother. It's Tuesday the 12th of July, and it's also Amazon Prime Day. And I've uh, just been having a little look at some of the Lego deals on here, but um, they're just... Um, <laughs> some of them are, are, are reasonable enough deals, like uh, this one um, at 1667 is... Uh, is a nice price but um what amazon have done is they've been a little bit uh, sneaky and they've stopped everybody um buying more than one so you can only add one to your basket of almost everything in here 
and um, I guess that's to stop all of us uh, Lego investors, uh, bricklink sellers, etc., who who come in and just buy, um, you know, the the quantity. And it was bad enough when you could only get three of each, but only getting one seems, um, yeah, it's just not worth the the time and effort. Really, um, you can't really easily part out one set um three are sort of bad enough um but um uh, one is just ridiculous so i don't think i'm going to be buying anything this prime day anyway let's have a quick uh peek at uh the week uh the day rather to see what we've got and we have got uh just four orders on uh bricklink two orders both international on brick owl and i've got to say you know internationals are, are, are just crushing it for me at the moment i'm getting lots of international orders for some reason um and uh you know some of them have been quite reasonable orders as well and then on uh ebay we've gotten uh two orders there as well it's going to be another scorcher um, around 30 degrees again today. So um, I'm going to try and get cracking, get as much done in the cooler hours of the day and um, then uh, spend more time sort of, I guess, sat at my desk with the fan on parting out. This morning's orders are now all picked and ready to pack. We did get one extra order come in while I was picking the others which is always nice so we've got a total of nine orders all picked packed and ready to go nothing too unusual a few minifigures going out um, just basic um, collectible minifigs a few orders on eBay going out there as well uh, next up for me is going to be some parting out to try and uh, sort some of this used bulk into uh, various categories and they'll end up going into these category bags that we've got here of different types of parts or here for instance we've got a bag of all sort of round bricks etc uh, we've got some pins down there we've got wheels we've got um, uh, sort of uh, wind, wind screens etc and uh, then this afternoon I'll pick one of these bags, which will hopefully be a bit bigger by then, and uh, get uploading uh, into the store. So I did manage to spend some time and sort some bulk today and managed to get this drawer here completely empty. Um, I won't lie and say that I did sort the entire uh, drawer. I did have an, an inch or so of parts at the bottom that um, were still left over and I, I just dumped them into the, the drawer below. But uh, nonetheless, it has made uh, quite a bit of space, uh, which is good to see. Um, we may end up just transporting some of this bulk back into their mind so that I can get rid of some of these tubs on the floor, but uh, we will see. But that uh, getting rid of these tubs here is the main aim because they're taking up floor space in here and then in other news um we've just hit 200 fans on the store on bricklink which is nice to see um we've been watching that uh tick over um for for some months around the 175 180 190 etc and uh, finally hit 200 which is um i won't say it was a goal but obviously all of these numerical sort of milestones are nice to see as you run in your store and uh, that's no exception. It's Wednesday the 13th of July and we've got just four orders this morning. Um, all of them are on Bricklink, not a single thing on Brickowl. So Brickowl seems to have died a death again for me at the moment at least. Um, I'm sure it'll pick back up um, but... Uh, for the last few days it's been pretty quiet uh there is one order on here that is for 214 lots so there are close to 300 lots to pick 
across these four orders so um it's still a reasonable amount of picking to do uh and, it, and it's funny it, you know the other week uh, for instance i had an order um for more than this 214 lot order for a single item so it just shows how things um can vary dramatically um and i wish i had more of those single lots to sell at that value but uh, those are few and far between to be honest um but anyway I'd uh, better get picking. Um, that one's probably going to take an hour or so to pick the 214 lot order, um, but that's fine. Um, that's uh, what the business is all about. Uh, so I better get cracking. So we've finished picking today's orders, at least the ones that we've got so far. This is the highest uh, lot count of the day. This is 214 lots. Uh, thankfully most of the lots were just ones and twos so it wasn't actually as bad as it might seem to pick other orders uh just a couple of small orders here and then another order uh, with 60 lots uh, this time i've decided that i'm going to part these two sets out uh these are sets that i've had uh oh, for some time now probably over two years, uh, I would think, probably probably three, maybe even four years, I don't know. Um, this is set 76046. Um, I had these listed on eBay at one time. I'm not even sure that they're listed at the moment. And they're also on Bricklink. I did have an inquiry about them last week when someone asked for some photographs of them. And I only had it listed at about £40. And... Um, it just made me realise, A, that I still had them, and B, that the part out value is about £65 versus £40 that I was selling them at. So I've just decided I'm just going to part them out. It's just, um, you know, I'm not um, buying much new stuff at the moment, as I mentioned all the time on the vlogs. And um, it is nice to get new parts into the store. And um, I just don't need these sat around anymore, to be honest. Um, there's a couple of reasonable figures in there. Uh, Wonder Woman in particular, I think, probably goes for about £10. And I'm sure that the Superman, Lex Luthor, etc. will move as well at some point. Though I'm in no mad rush. But I think it would be good to get the parts into the store. So I'm going to get these parted out now. I'm just working through sorting out a whole bunch of two by two plates and normally I'd sort these into pots etc but I decided just to dump the whole pile on my desk and just sort them into sort of mini piles of, of colours shall we say and um, from here obviously I'll uh, do a quality check and sort out um, them into size before listing into brick store. Um, I do have a brick store file on the go at the moment, um, which is mainly made up of all sorts of odds and sods of, of parts, um, you know, one-offs, just sort of larger or, or odd things that are pulled out of the bulk as I've been sorting it. And I just thought I'd, I'd put some more basic things in now, uh, like, like the plates, for instance, which are constantly selling through, of course. So uh, that's my job at the moment. I have got somebody parting out a couple of sets for me, which will be done shortly. And I just need to get these uh, three orders packed up. These are three additional orders that have come in throughout the day, um, all picked, ready to pack. Um, it's about half an hour until the uh, depot uh, closes or rather the time that I normally go to the depot it is actually open later but um, I always got a specific time each day so I'm just going to get these packed up and um, get ready to get to the depot. Thursday the 14th of July and this is it for this morning's orders. Three orders this morning all pretty small ones. Um, this one's going off to Ireland and then um, this one is a slightly more unusual one. I've um, got lots of these listed, um, but they don't tend to sell very well, mainly because of the packaging, uh, I think, because they're such a large size, they need to go as a medium parcel. So 
even though they're still um, pretty cheap uh, from me and I think I'm the only one selling them on, on Bricklink, um, they do cost um, a reasonable amount to ship. Um, plenty to be doing besides the orders, got uh, this little lot to get put into the store. Uh, this, uh, the, the new uh, sets that we parted out yesterday, just a couple of uh, 76046. And then we've got uh, some used parts to be listing as well. So plenty of uh, putting away and uh, uploading to the store to be done. And then uh, we'll do some more picking. It's something that doesn't sell too often, but I do have these listed on eBay because, um, y you know, I, I find that anyone who's interested in Lego will buy anything uh, related to the topic. And um, these are no exceptions. So this is sold for $9.99. Uh, I do have a bunch of these on eBay, as I say, um, mostly all my own personal collection. Um, probably never even read in any great, great detail uh, to be honest and um, they're a great buy and I think I might have them on there with the buy one get the second one half price something like that but um, good to see these moving out and uh, they do tend to be a little bit more expensive to ship because of the weight um, so you do have to watch that but other than that you know you cover easily covering that in the 9.99 it's been a much quieter day today with uh, only a handful of orders. I think I had five or six orders in the end um, between, um, well, all Bricklink. I think I had one on Brick Owl, but mostly Bricklink, one on eBay, um, but in total about um, six uh, orders. And uh, I had some uploading to do and I managed to get that done. And so I thought, with it being relatively quiet, I thought I would uh, get on with the website. Uh, you might remember that a few weeks ago, I was was hacked and had to shut down my website. And uh, I moved my email to a, a different provider and wasn't really sure what to do about my, my website, whether to bother. Um, originally, I just had, um, or as a temporary measure rather, I just had everything redirect into my Bricklink store. But I've decided um, to uh, set up another um, website and uh, this is it. I've kept it really basic and really uh, clean and, and simple. And uh, I've spent the last few hours today just... Uh, getting this uploaded to a website, uh, to a new host. Um, I deliberated for a while. I didn't really want to pay for the hosting. And I was worried that um, if I just went with one of the cheap hosts, that um, it just wouldn't be um, really sort of worth my while. Um, or, or rather that, you know, the, the service provided by some of those cheaper hosting services just is pretty poor to to be honest and that's why you end up getting hacked in the first place and that's why performance is poor and, and things like that so i've gone for a, a host I've, I've not used before um it's a host uh called cloudways and um I, i'm really happy with the uh speed in fact i've been doing some speed tests uh, on the website and admittedly there's not a lot of content there at the moment but I've got this down to um, a really a really good speed actually uh, so I'm really happy with the performance so far I just need to crack on and get some more uh, content on there um, so I'm going to be concentrating on this um, for a, a bit uh, longer you know in the in the coming days weeks um because my intention is to um add to the blog uh, on there and i know that and uh, you know and i'm as guilty of this of, of thinking that you know blogs are dead and um maybe they are we'll find out i guess but um i've been watching a lot about blogging lately on on youtube and um i just 
fancy giving it a go or something else to do as if I haven't got enough to do. Uh, so I'm going to be writing some articles uh, to go onto the website uh, as well. So um, wish me luck. It's Friday the 15th of July and we've got six orders here on Bricklink. Uh, one of them in particular is a, a good order at uh, pretty much £80. Pounds, uh, and that is for almost 1700 parts although they are in only nine lots and um, if we take a quick look at that order just to show you what those lots are they're all these round tiles and they're wiping me out of pretty much every um, color that I've got and um, the the good thing about this uh, for a, a fairly large value order is that they're going to be easy to pick this is where the benefit of counting skills really comes in and, and pays off because counting uh 738 black round tiles would be no fun let me assure you um but the beauty is um as well that because they're wiping me out of each of these uh lots it makes them so easy to count because you're just going to dump them in to a container on the counting scale and as long as i'm hitting the number or even a little bit over um then that will be great because typically what happens with these small parts is they're not so accurate on the counting scales typically especially in large uh, quantities like 738 of them there so um uh, as long as i'm um sort of counting over the the amount and when i say over you know there might be with something this size might be five or ten over something like that um we should be you know we should be good and uh i imagine um not that i would ever want to rip anybody off um but i would imagine no one at the other end is going to count 738 black round tiles to make sure that they got them all um but um <laughs> you never do know um now uh on brick owl it is completely dead not a single order on brick owl and i think yesterday i had one order the day before possibly two but i've heard from other sellers that it's dead for them as well um i i don't know what's going on with brick owl it's so weird and i have to say you know you do at times like this question whether it's worth paying a sinking fee for for the sinking services because um if i'm not making any sales on brick owl then i'm paying money for nothing um with uh the fees that i pay for for bricklink because i'm paying a fee for everything i'm selling on on bricklink just because i'm sinking to brick owl um so you do need to keep that in mind whether it's going to be worth your while uh to do i must admit it is over over the long term you know you get some uh good orders on on brick owl as well so um for me not not worth um not sinking and not selling on brick owl and then on ebay we've also got nothing um so it's uh just down to to Bricklink again today. Six orders and uh, I'm going to go and get off and pick them right now. I'm in the middle of counting the round tiles for uh, this order uh, that's just completely uh, full of different types of round tiles. And I just wanted to um, tell you how I kind of count these. And I know that sounds really basic, sort of, you don't need to know how to count, but um, what I find is when I'm using the counting scales is typically well, what I do is I would add uh, maybe 10 of something and then I'd punch in the value and that would give me an average weight uh, for each item and then I'd just add extras in there. But when I'm doing large quantities and in this case I'm doing 738 black round tiles. So what I always do is I enter or count manually um, 10%. So 
Uh, I've actually counted 70 of these into this little round pot here. So I'm going to put in 70 into the scale and hope that that's going to get me somewhere near. Now, I don't want these to go all over the place, so let's just see how we go. I know this is going to end in disaster in a minute, so just being careful. And that's given me 737 black round tiles and they've asked for 738. So using that method, I'm one short. Um, now, um, the likelihood is that there is the 738 there and it's just um, not... Um, you know, kind of uh, counting quite correctly. Now, what I keep um, for such small parts like this is I keep a little spares tub and I'll come here and we'll hopefully in here find one black round tile. And I think we've got one there. There we go. So, I'll go and add that into the mix. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that there, that's actually, as I walked back, it's flashing between 737, 738. So, I'm pretty sure that that is actually correct. But I'm going to throw that extra one in there anyway. Uh, and you can see that as soon as I throw the one in, it tips it over because of the, you know, there's such a fine amount of weight in these that that tips the balance and pushes it over to 739. So uh, I think they were right anyway, but um, I'll just throw that extra one in. So this morning's orders are all picked and ready to be packed away. Now we did pick up two additional orders, which are these two here. So I mentioned earlier that we'd had uh, six orders on Bricklink. Uh, these two also came in on Bricklink. So still Bricklink, the only platform that we've got any orders on today. This one uh, was about uh, 60 something lots. And um, the, a quick look across uh, some of the other orders. This one's going off to the, the US, but I think everything else is UK based. We've got a nice green uh, brick separator going out there and this is the order that i mentioned earlier with all of the one by one round tiles so i'm uh, just going to get these packed away and then uh we've got some more uh, parts to be uploaded into the store and um we'll get back to um to i think several times this week i've called it picking but um what i really mean is is sort of parting out and uh, sorting more of this bulk lot. Uh, it probably looks like it never goes down this bulk, but we keep moving bits from other pots and sort of filling these back up. So that's why it probably doesn't look like it's, it's moving uh, too much. So I've just come back from lunch to find another contribution on coffee. Uh, this time from Steve from London Bricks. And um, he says, although I'm not on social media as much as I would like, I always find time to enjoy your vlogs, mate. Keep it up and enjoy the summer. And uh, Steve's another fellow um, bricklinker um, with uh, a, a great store. I don't know how much he's working on it at the moment or not, but um, yeah, check him out. And uh, hope you're doing well, Steve. I know the family's all good and uh, life's treating you well. I've decided the next part out for us is going to be uh, this set. It's 70816 and it is Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship and 940 parts. Uh, why am I parting this out? Well, I actually bought this in America uh, when I was on holiday there and I was 
was interested in getting a set and I couldn't sort of find it anywhere. It was retired by then anyway. And I found it in a Toys R Us over there. But the problem was that all of the seals had been broken. Now I got them to open the box and show me the contents and I'm pretty sure that everything was was there and I, I just took a punt and, and bought it. Um, but I can't sell it like this as a sealed set because um you know it's been retaped by by someone um and the box is pretty ropey as well now i had a look at what the part out value was and i think it was around 125 pounds which is pretty good because that's all about the set goes for anyway i think so i've decided we're just going to get it parted out i'm going to get the parts into the store figures probably on bricklink uh oh, sorry on ebay and um yeah we'll take it uh, uh, at that and um there's just no point me trying trying to move this I'd, you know i've held on to it for ages trying to decide what the best thing was to do and um part of it's definitely the best option i think and here we are with uh benny's spaceship 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 all parted out and ready to be uploaded to the store although that's not going to happen uh, tonight uh, or today. Uh, it's probably going to be a Monday job now. I like to try and take the weekends off and uh, focus on uploading the vlog and doing a couple of other things. But try and relax a bit more over the weekend and uh, get back to this on Monday. Mm -hmm. 